Hello, this is Nikita from Plum Sale Team, and today we have an interview with Justin from Consulta Cloud. Consulta Cloud has been our partner for many years. They're a digital consultancy agency, and they've used Plum Sale products in some of their biggest projects that they worked on. Today we'll ask Justin about what projects they worked on, what their experience with Plum Sale products was, and how they achieved success in some of their biggest projects. Stay tuned. Hello, Justin. This is Nikita. Yes. Pleasure to meet you. You We've too. been in contact for quite some time via support emails. Now, can you tell us more about what your company does? What's your role yeah. in the company? And uh, what projects are you working on? Yeah. My name is Justin Mitchell. I'm one of the co owners of Consulta Cloud. Consulta Cloud's actually been in business for almost 25 years. Um, we were originally a company called DigiCorp Technologies, and we actually had our own SharePoint cu custom column development. Uh, called SharePointAid.com. We created something called an enhanced lookup column. We had all kinds of custom components that we wrote for ourselves. Um, but we always, we've never, we, we've, we have always been focused on Microsoft and SharePoint technologies from the very beginning of our of our business. And so when SharePoint first came out, we were one of the early adopters in seeing the power to build actual line of business software solutions in SharePoint. And so pretty quickly, we became subject matter experts in the area and we were developing full line of business applications in SharePoint when people were still thinking of it as a filing system. Um, many people didn't see the possibilities for large scale project on a platform like SharePoint, but my partner and I saw this really great ability to quickly build applications before um, we started building in SharePoint, we were full stack developers. So we were building full applications in .NET or whatever the customer wanted. And we were looking at 18 to 24 months development time for really any significant solution. And with SharePoint, we realized it, with the right tools and the right pieces and parts of SharePoint, we could build some solutions in two to three months um, that used to take much, much longer to do. So we, um, Jeff and I uh, rebranded DigiCore as Consult to Cloud in uh, 2019, right before the whole COVID thing happened with the whole idea of saying, okay, let's move everybody to the cloud that wants to. And this involves moving their files and their structures, but most of the time it's rewriting applications and building things in the cloud. Now, all of that sounds really awesome. I really value our partnership. We've been working together for over 10 years. Now tell me, Justin, what made you choose Plum Sale? Uh, what challenges have you faced before using our products? Uh, what solutions have you found? Right? Yeah. What made you choose us? We, we one of the biggest problems with Microsoft is the constant changes, and so for us to be. We had to either be a company that built solutions for customers or built tools for people to use. And for us, the constantly changing environments from, uh, you know, the different ways that, you know, back when custom columns were a thing, you know, and then pretty soon Microsoft came out and said, well, you can't do this anymore. And then you need to switch to this framework. And now you need to switch to the SPFX framework. For us, we just got to the point where, like, we had to make a decision. And so we abandoned that part of our company, even though we had what I believe were some of the coolest tools that were available at the time, but it just wasn't the right thing for us. And so then we kind of were tasked with saying, okay, if we're going to build these solutions for people, what are we going to use to do them in? And we looked at a lot of different products, including developing some stuff on our own, because we thought, well, we could probably build custom forms and SharePoint designer. Um, there was a lot of flexibility that we could do, but everything we found was either very expensive or any even things like Nintex forms, which um, is very, very expensive, was not good in our experience. It was really built towards people who weren't developers, who didn't have the ability to make things exactly the way that they wanted them. And so what we what we started to do was to look for something that would allow us to develop these solutions in a quick way, but also have the flexibility to do highly technical things when and where we needed to. And Plum Sale has kind of been that consistent solution for us for over a decade now, where we were able to, to get rid of a lot of our custom columns and a lot of the 
features that we were building up, we were able to abandon all of them and replace them almost completely with Plumsail. Um, we were able to inject code in places that we weren't ever able to inject code into before. And so once we got into working with Plumsail, we realized very quickly that we could just do things and accomplish things that we weren't going to be able to do very easily. And the cost was very affordable. When we were first starting, you know, we had a lot of smaller clients that, you know, they couldn't afford $10,000 a year for a form product. You know, they needed something that could be developed quickly. And so the Plum Cell product has always been affordable, um, regardless of company size and really kind of an easy sell. I don't think we have a single customer that doesn't have Plum Cell forms. I don't think any of our customers, unless they're like some very specific product, if anyone wants us to develop anything, the first thing we say is, well, you're going to need to buy Plum Cell forms. I'm very happy to hear that. That's something we are actively working on, making sure that our products can work in small scale to large scale projects. As developers ourselves, we understand the needs of our developers, but we also try to make our products as user friendly as possible, even for beginners, right? And with all of that in mind, maybe you can share mm -hmm. some challenges that our products yeah. help you overcome, some specific projects that you worked on where you used our products and they really helped. Like we're looking for some specific examples. We've been working for years now and uh, really would love to hear about you from you about the challenges, you know, you worked on specifically with our products. Yeah, I mean, for us, um, SharePoint has its own limitations and um, those limitations can be quite frustrating. The first thing I wanted to say about all the different versions is that one of the things that made us stick with Plum Sale fairly early on is we saw that you were, because we represent a lot of different SharePoint products that people sit and install on top of them. And we found, you know, there was a, a time when I was selling Quizcom and Boost Solutions and um, the, a lot of different uh, hair point. I'm not sure if you ever heard of those guys. Um, a lot of different solutions. But one of the things I started to notice over time was that most of them were severely behind the eight ball when changes came out. And Plum Sale always was trying to stay right on the cutting edge of what Microsoft was asking us to change to. And so I was able to confidently say to my customer, this is a product that as Microsoft changes and puts new limitations or even features in, they're going to customize it in a timely manner. We're not talking about a year after a feature has been released that, that, that Plum Sale is going to be able to leverage it. So that was a really critical piece for us. Um, but like an example that I would give is there's a, one of our clients is the largest microbrewer of beer in the country, in the United mm -hmm. States here. And they had this big data problem. And when you think about big data, you don't really think about SharePoint because SharePoint is kind of notorious for not doing great with big data. But kind of the heart of the problem was that this company, although they're the biggest microbrewer in the world, they don't actually sell beer to anyone. They sell, well, they don't sell beer to the customers. They sell beer to distributors, but they have a whole sales, sales force of people that goes to say Walmart or Kroger grocery stores or whatever and says, okay, you represent the whole Midwest of the United States for Walmart. Um, we're going to be launching our, over, or our new beer for the summer. Um, and a summer beer, how many cases of the summer beer are you going to buy at all of your different stores? And those are called commitments. And the, the stores would say, well, we're going to commit to this many. And the sales guys would say, oh, good. And they would report it to their bosses. But they had no idea if those guys ever actually bought the beer that they said that they were going to buy. And so what we did was we, we had a couple complex problems to deal with. One of them was that these commitments from these vendors were very, very large data sets with, you know, sometimes thousands of, of locations or hundreds of locations with thousands of SKU line items that needed to be brought into the system. Well, we were able to, and then, and then once that data was in there, we had to merge it. Um, we had to merge this with data that was in another system to find the differences. And so what we did is we leveraged Plum Sale to allow us to use SharePoint as kind of the front end for the hosting of these commitments. But the large data set rows, we actually were able to store and retrieve from Dataverse because we could use the data tables to manipulate data in a way that the list and library control would never be able to do. 
And so we were able to take something that looked on its surface to not really be possible in SharePoint and build them a very, we rapidly built that app. It took about six months to, to design it from beginning to end. It cost the client about $150,000 for us to develop the solution. They say they said in their first year, they recovered $1.2 million in missing profits because they were able to go back to the stores and say, hey, you didn't buy this and you were committed to buying it. So you have to buy it now. For us, it was one of these, without Plumsa, we wouldn't have been able to do it because we were able to create really custom screens for um, like when you're in that upload process, um, you know, waiting for things to happen and I- interacting with these outside data sets that just wouldn't have been possible without it. Now, that sounds really awesome. I'm sure a lot of our customers would love to see some examples so maybe we can show something that's possible to build with Plum Cell Forms. So we can show that right here on the screen. I think I have a couple of things I can show. Um, and we're doing another one with Plum Cell right now, a really huge project for a company that builds um, these scaffoldings around, uh, like if you think about like a stadium being built, they have these massive scaffoldings that have to go around the whole building. They have about 1,800 employees. Right now, they all enter their timesheets on Excel spreadsheets. And their accounting department retrieves all this time and then sends it into their accounting software. We built a whole system in SharePoint that does the same thing, um, where in their in their line of work, every single piece of equipment in their structure has a tag on it. And so we're talking about a million rows of data. And we are storing all of that data in Dataverse and reading it through Plum Sale in real time. And it takes two or three seconds to retrieve the data that you need. So that's that's one that I could show you some really good screenshots of now. Um, and it and it really does. It it manipulates large amounts of data. And we take the data from beginning all the way through the output to the accounting system. So now their payroll system, which was very, very manual and include about 12 different people, um, is almost fully automated. So these are timesheets and they need to be able to sign them in three different ways. On the screen with their finger, which we can do with the signature control, via an e-sign um, mechanism, which we do through Power Automate and um, a, a third-party signing mechanism. Um, and those are the easy ones. And then the third one is that they need to be able to print a PDF right there and have the person physically sign a document because some people are still backwards in that way. And so that's when we started interacting with you. Like, could we actually draw the form in a certain way, create the PDF from that, save it in a document library all in a single click. And now that's the way that it works. You know, we have this function called uh, print timesheet. So this is an example of one of the timesheets um, with all these different guys. And this stuff is really complex because all of these things are like locals and classes. This is how people, these are like unions and so each one of these unions get paid differently. And so depending on what these things are, this drives how they get paid. Um, um, so they, they're able to import, you know, input all of the time on here. Um, but then they have this ability to um, generate, to, to print um, timesheets. And this is one of the cool things that I love that Jeff does with the, um, this again, this is the data viewer. This is not the list or library control. And so these aren't, Actually, the items. These are copies of the items, if you will. So when you want to go to print the timesheet, if you don't want this particular activity included, you just delete it here. It's not going to delete the timesheet. It just deletes that row. And then you can say, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to generate the printed version. So, but yeah, you can see here, like we just have all kinds of functions in here. So these timesheets are really complicated. And like we have this little button right here that will copy an entire timesheet. Um, so yeah, you can duplicate this entire timesheet, put it to a different date, um, include the time or not. And then when you hit copy, it will duplicate this timesheet. So these guys, 
you know, they may be working on the same job five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten job days in a row. And before they were creating a brand new timesheet every single time and re-entering all this data. Well, if most of this is the same, they can just go boom, 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 put the new data in. It's going to go ahead and create the whole new timesheet, all the activities, all of the rows. And then it's going to load that in there. And you saw that it, it will happen pretty quickly when it's all done. So working together with us on these projects, how would you rate your overall experience with Plum Sale team and our support team? No, I mean, I would say that in general, the technical support response is excellent. You know, amongst our partners, like we're always getting a response back. One of the things I like is that even if you don't know what's going on, you're responding saying, okay, we can see it. We don't know what's going on either. We're going to look into this and figure out what's going on. The communication is usually really good. And then every once in a while, we get to a thing where um, we're saying this doesn't work the way that we want it to work. It's not necessarily broken. Um, and quite often we've had a response of, okay, well, we'll, we'll, we'll fix that. That, that seems like a reasonable thing to want it to work that way. So we'll add that feature or, um, there's been a couple times where what we asked for was too complicated. And I think we actually paid you guys to add the feature and, um, that kind of stuff has just been really, really excellent. So we know that as we're building solutions in here, if we run into problems, we're not kind of hung out to dry that, you know, we have backup through you guys that we know we're going to get some assistance with. We really appreciate that. Happy to hear it. And yes, talking about paid support, if, uh, feature request comes in, you know, you need something specific for your project to work and it falls in line with our product and something that we can do for you. Absolutely. We are happy to offer paid support to expand the product for all the users and yeah. to make sure that you achieve your goals. So don't hesitate to ask and don't hesitate to contact our support team with any requests that you, you might have. We found the paid support's been excellent and it's almost way better to just pay you guys to develop stuff than it is to bang our heads up against the wall. Um, so I, I would, I've been in tra trying to encourage my partner, Jeff, to ask you guys more for things because just say, well, just offer to pay them, ask them what they want for it and let's just pay them so you don't have to do it. Um, so we'll probably take advantage of that more as we move forward. So, All right, Justin. It was a pleasure talking to you today. Thank you for the interview. Uh, we'll stay in touch via the support email. For any of our viewers, be sure to check out Plum Sale Forms yes. and the article we have published about this interview as well.